Hi, just want to do a quick little video uh, demonstration of the FG-100 DDS function generator. This came off of eBay and I couldn't really find a lot of information out about it when I looked at it. So I thought I'd just kind of show how it works quickly and we'll just play with it for a second. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn it on. So there's the boot. So when it first starts, you don't get anything right away. So you actually have to turn it on to get it. And if you want to do any adjustments, you can't. You have to stop it again. So in the menu, mode, so we can toggle through the different modes. Let's turn that on. Square. Almost a beautiful square. Stop. Triangle. So you have to run stop every time you want to do this. There we go, back to sign. So, there you go, there's the functions. So, you have to stop it if you want to change the frequency. So you have the cursor, so you go up, down. So right now this thing's at 100 kilohertz. So, if we want to take it down to say 10 kilohertz, uh, 10 kilohertz there, we have to hit negative. So we turn that first one into a zero. Cursor over, and add one. There we go, 10 kilohertz. So, there we go. See it there. Works pretty good. Uh, there's a filter button. I haven't really played with that too much. I can't tell. It was on there, so. You can play with that a bit. I don't think really you need it probably for most of these frequencies, but you never know. So let's maybe take her down to something else. zero oh so yeah it's a little finicky to use so there we go five kilohertz so it works if you just want to have a basic function generator here so what you can do is turn your DC offset off on so right now it's off turn it on My coupling was set wrong on there. So there we go. So now I can adjust the DC offset here. So off, on, and let's see. Can we get it to clip? There we go. So we took it down pretty far there. So Probably just as good as you'd find on any uh, moderately priced normal bench supply. Oh, we're actually going pretty high here without uh, clipping. Oh, there we go. That's the scope clipping it there, I think. So, we can also do that, and on the side, this is the amplitude. So, let's take that off and move this thing back and put her in the middle. So, amplitude adjust. That's me moving outside of the trigger on my scope, that's not the function generator. So you can adjust your amplitude with the knob here. So, nothing too exciting. It works, you know what, I didn't pay a whole lot of money and uh, the price of this thing was the cost on the shipping of having a used, heavier grade one. So the only complaint I really have about this for anything I've used is that there's no dial to actually move through the frequencies while it's on. So having to run and stop it is a little frustrating. But again, you know, for what I paid, I guess I can live with it. And when I purchased this, it doesn't come with any kind of connector. So I had to attach my own BNC connector here. And on this, I just have a set of alligator clips connected to a probe and it did not come with a power supply so the problem here was that it had to be 5 volts and it had a funny sized barrel 
it didn't work with any of the other 5 volt adapters I had. So for this one I had to notch out the plastic casing a little bit just to get it to fit. Not a big deal. Uh, if we want to here, why don't we uh, pause for a second and I'll open it up and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so on the inside here, not a whole lot to see. Just some buttons on the board there. They have it silk screened in there what the buttons are. So, potentiometer, potentiometer, BNC connector, just to maintain switch. So the screen is just a normal uh, 16 by 2 plain old screen. So I guess if you want to, you could probably mod this thing. And uh, some kind of calibration potentiometer. And uh, there's some small other ICs in there. I'm not too sure what they are. Uh, hold on, I'll pop the uh, screen off. We'll take a look under it. And now I'm back with the screen out. So there's the screen. So like I figured... Uh, just a plain old 1602 so you could actually just use this with uh, another, a different project so you could almost buy this thing and take it apart for parts and uh, get your money back so I'm gonna guess this pot here is probably for the contrast on the screen and this here is an Atmel it's an Atmel Amiga Focus I don't think it's gonna do it there we go 48PA-PU and you can see the crystal there so yeah it's uh, it's pretty clean in there I guess it's uh, fairly well built surface mount stuff yeah so there's what the inside of it looks like and uh, actually I'm going to point out here so this adapter it was kind of a weird size barrel notice that there's no voltage regulators or anything these capacitors might be used for uh, filtering out a bit but uh, no voltage regulator so you gotta put a 5 volt power supply on there I guess if you wanted you could build your own uh, little thingy there you could put some kind of voltage regulator in on your own so if you have options you could play around with this you could mod it you could make it do what you want and uh, it was cheap enough that it's not really a huge deal anyway so there you have it the FG-100 DDS function generator. So I'm going to say again for the price it was a pretty good deal. I couldn't actually uh, get anything even close to this for uh, what they were asking so if you just want something to play around with sure go for it. Okay have fun.